guys welcome back to my youtube channel i want to say a big thank you to all my amazing subscribers you guys are really wonderful please if you're new to this channel don't forget to subscribe just click the red button that says subscribe there you will click that bell sign so that you get a notification whenever i'm uploading a new video in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how to make no bite strawberry jam so let's get started Guys, these are what I'll be using for the strawberry jam. Here with me is some strawberries. I'm using 600 grams of strawberry. Then one cup of a granulated sugar. You can use more sugar, you can use less sugar. So I just decided to use less sugar for this recipe. So let's get started. So first of all, I'm gonna go ahead to wash the strawberry and take off the the stuff from it so I can go ahead to blend it so guys here is our strawberry I've already cleaned them I've chopped them into bits so now I'm going to transfer it to the blender so that I can blend it I'm just going to cover this up so here is the blender So guys, here is our strawberry. I've finished blending it. So here is it. Now I'm going to transfer it to the pot so I can go ahead to start boiling it. So guys, here is the time for us to start preparing our strawberry jam. So now I'm just going to pour out the blended strawberry to the pot. So the next thing I'm going to do is to add the sugar. So I'm just going to stir this. So now I'm going to allow it to cook. So guys, here is our strawberry jam. You can see it's still boiling, it's still cooking. So please, when you are doing this, make sure you do it on a medium heat. So you can see that it has not really finished cooking. I'm still going to leave this. You can see there are still some bubbles on it. So I'm still going to allow this to cook again and I will check back. So guys, finally, here is our strawberry jam. You can see there are no bubbles coming out that looks like those white bubbles is not coming out of it. You can see it's fully cleared up. So that is one sign you know that your strawberry is ready. Or you can also check it in this way by just taking a little bit of the strawberry jam and add it to a very clean plate. So you check like this. You can see if your strawberry is not running, as in, you will know that, yes, your strawberry is ready. See, I'm bending the plate now. You can see it's not running. So this is, it doesn't look too liquid. So at this very moment, you can see that our strawberry jam is ready. So now I'm going to take it out from the fire and I'll allow it to cool up and I'm going to show you guys how it looks like. So guys, here is our strawberry jam. That's how it's looking. Very nice. You too, you can give it a try. And this does not need, there's no preservative in this. With less sugar, homemade strawberry jam is the best. I must tell you the truth. So at this very moment, I'm going to be adding it to the, to my jar.
So guys, here is it. I finished pouring it into the jar. This is how it's looking. So I'm just going to cover this up. This can last you for a very long time just for you to keep it in your fridge. I want to thank you guys for watching this video. Please, if you like my video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Bye-bye and God bless you.